there's several different ways that we differentiate. We've done a multiple intelligences inventory with the students to see, you know, if they're more of a bodily kinesthetic type of learner or if they're a musical learner or maybe an interpersonal, interpersonal, all those different intelligences. And they've scored themselves and they, we've looked at it. and. So um, like an intrapersonal person may need to work more by themselves. They may, you know, they want to be alone when they're working. And we give them that option. They don't always want to work alone, but we recognize that's part of their personality. Um, our bodily kinesthetic students, which we have a lot of those, they need to be moving. So we have different places they can go where they can move. We have a bike under the desk for one student. We have a standing desk. We have cushions they can sit on to help them wiggle and wobble. Uh, one student has a fidget cube that he uses. If, if we don't allow them to move, then I feel like their learning isn't going to be as in-depth. So there's a lot of movement in the room and different kind of seating. Purposes. My name is Renee Flowers and I work at Bel Air Elementary in fourth grade. I teach reading and social studies and I'm part of Tullahoma City Schools. <laughs> to come in and Mrs. Allen and I co-teach so she's our special ed teacher and she comes in and she knows in depth the needs of our special education population but she also helps all the other students so sometimes we'll group and we'll have some kids that are together and it'll be it'll include all of her special ed students but then sometimes you know we have different groups so she works just like I do she works with any group at any time wherever the need may be so. I, today I put them kind of with a higher group. I put her with a higher group of learners. Um, they, they are a little, kind of getting a little boisterous, so she's in there to help them stay on track, stay focused, and ask higher group questions. I'll be doing some, you know, somebody else might be rotating and I'm with the group, so it just depends on the needs. This activity, they're looking for different ways that the author helps to describe the character and their main character and sometimes students can read just read out of a book and they can find that information and it's fine and sometimes they really need to have like something printed in their hand where um, they can write on it they can do what make notes whatever they need to do to make sure that they understand it so and highlighting will, will help them oh i got to find something i need to highlight and it brings attention to it so we we know which students kind of need that and we print out things for them and then let them use the highlighters. So.